All right, so welcome to part 20 of Learn Go. And in this video, we're going to be going over interfaces. So interfaces are named collections of method signatures, and we're going to be implementing a basic interface called geometry, which is going to be one interface for geometric shapes. So this geometry interface is going to be composed of method signatures, which we'll call area and perimeter, that will be responsible for calculating the area and perimeter of a given geometric shape. And the geometric shapes we'll be concerned with in this video are going to be of type rectangle and circle. So both area and perimeter, those are notions that are defined for both of those shapes. And the way in which we calculate either of those two quantities for either of those two shapes is going to be, of course, different. So we're going to be defining those things as methods. The interface geometry is going to be composed of those methods, and we're going to make sure that we implement all of those methods for the shapes that we're defining here. So in Go, to implement an interface, we'll need to make sure to implement all of the methods for the interface. So we'll be doing that as well. So let's go ahead and start off by just defining the interface that we'll call geometry. So let's go down here. So we'll say type geometry, and then we'll use the keyword interface. And inside of this interface, it's going to be a collection of method signatures. So the methods that we're going to be implementing for this interface are area, which will return a float64 type, and then also perimeter, which will also return a float64 type as well. So we've got our interface set up there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to define the two types of shapes that we're going to be focused on in this video. So namely rectangle and circle, and we're going to define them as structs. So we're going to say type RECT for rectangle struct. And inside here, we'll define the parameters with respect to a rectangle. So namely, we have the uh, parameters width and height. These will be a float type 64. And we'll also do a similar thing for the circle struct as well. So we'll define that and inside here, the parameters that will be concerned with a circle will be radius, which will be of also type float 64. So now what we're going to do is we're going to implement the methods for rectangle and circle as we've specified them here in the geometry interface. So we need to make sure that we implement the methods for each of these shapes. So we'll say func, and then here we'll put in the type of object it's going to be operating on. In this case, we'll first define the area function for a rectangle. So we'll call this area. Again, it returns a float64. And then inside of this function, we're just going to simply return the area formula for a rectangle. So we'll just return r.width times r dot height. So if this type of method signature is looking a little bit foreign to you, I, I encourage you to check out the method video in Go that was previously done in this series. So we're also going to be implementing the method for the area for a circle. So we'll say func, in this case, c for circle. And then this is also going to be called area. This will return a float64. And inside of this function, we'll return the formula for the area of a circle, which is math.pi times c dot radius times c dot radius. So if you're confused or if you're wondering where this math.pi is coming from, notice that in this import statement, not only are we importing format, but we're also importing math. And when we import math, we have access to math.pi, which is part of the math library, and that is the constant pi. So that's where that's coming from. So now we've implemented the methods for area to be applicable to both a rectangle and a circle. We're going to do a similar thing now for the perimeter method as well. So we'll start off with the perimeter method for a rect um, perimeter method for a rectangle. So we'll say r rect perim. This is going to return a float 64. And then inside of this, we'll put in the formula for a rectangle to calculate the perimeter. So this is just return two times r dot width plus two times r dot height. So we have that. And then we'll do a similar thing for the circle as well. So c circle perim. And I think I'm missing parentheses up here. Let me just make sure I put those in there. This returns a float 64. And inside here, we'll put the formula for a circle perimeter. So that is 2 times math.pi times c dot radius. So we've implemented all of the methods for the interface that we've defined up here for the types of objects that we're considering here, the geometric shapes of rectangle and circle. So let's go ahead and create another function, which will kind of be a helper function. We'll call this measure, and this is going to take an interface. So we'll call the interface G. It's going to take an interface of type geometry, which is what we defined up here. And then we're going to apply the methods defined in this interface in this function. So we're going to say, first what we're going to do is we're going to print out the 
interface itself. So if we define a rectangle that's of, let's say, width height 3, 4, then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to print that out. So we'll just say print line G. So that will print out something that looks like uh, something that looks like this. If we define a rectangle, let's say, and we want to print that out to see kind of what we're operating on, we can just print that out here so we know what we're doing. And then we're going to print out the result of calculating the area of a given shape. So we'll say format.println and then g.area. So we'll call the area method inside of the interface on whatever type of shape we're operating on. And then we'll also do the same thing for perimeter. So we'll say g.perimeter and then we'll do that as well. So now let's go ahead and go to the main. Let's define a shape, which is a rectangle, and also a circle, and then let's call the measure function and see what we get. So we'll say r is equal to, let's say, the rectangle, and then let's just define a rectangle with width is equal to 3, and let's say height is equal to 4. Likewise, let's also define a circle. So we'll define a circle like this. So in this case, we'll just define a circle with a radius 5. So now let's go ahead and say measure R. Let's just do that first. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure R. R is defined as a rectangle. It's going to be passed into this measure function. And then what we're going to do is it's going to be interpreted as, oh, okay, you're giving me a rectangle. It's supposed to be a geometric shape. Go ahead and print out the dimensions, the width and height of that given shape, and then calculate the area for whatever that shape is. In this case, it's a rectangle, and also give me the perimeter of that shape. Again, it's since it's a rectangle, that will be the rectangle method that we implemented on line 11 there for perimeter. So let's go ahead and save this, and then we'll clear the terminal. And then we'll say uh, go run, and then 20 underscore interfaces dot go. So if we do that, let's see. We have something that's declared but not used. Oh, that would be because we're defining this circle here. We're not using that. Let's just comment that out for now. Run that again. Clear the terminal, and then try to give this another go. So if we do that, we print out the dimensions, the width and height of the rectangle, and then we print out the result of the area and then the perimeter for a rectangle of 3, 4 for width height. So let's also do the same thing. Let's uncomment that for the circle. We'll say measure C. So we'll pass in the circle that we defined here of radius 5. We'll call this measure function that we defined up here. Again, it takes an interface. So the geometry, it takes an interface of type geometry, prints out the given radius of, in this case, the circle, calculates the area, and then the perimeter. So let's go ahead and run this as well. So if we do this, we get the rectangle, and then we get the radius 5 circle being passed in, and then it calculates both the area and perimeter using those specific methods for the circle. So that's pretty much it. This is uh, all that we're going to cover for interfaces for the time being. So if you have any questions or comments or anything of the sort, do not hesitate to leave them below in the comment section. The code, as always, will be available on my GitHub. The link for that will be in the description. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.